welcome to Break Mitsubishi. My name is Nathan and today we're doing a walk around video on this quite a new addition to the Mitsubishi line. What we have here is a 2020 MY20 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Exceed. Now being an Exceed model, it does come jam packed with a bunch of features and benefits. So we will touch on what these are when we go through the interior of the car. However, what we'll do now is actually run through the exterior condition. And I've got to tell you, this car presents pretty much like a brand new car. Um, uh, Paintwork is immaculate and the car itself presents really well. So we will touch on exactly what the benefits of this car are. Now starting off on that front end, you do have the newly adapted dynamic shield design, which have the chrome plates on the outer part of the front grille and that beautiful piano black gloss finish in the middle there, which breaks it up, but also gives it a bit of attention, a uh, bit of detail in the front of the car and actually draws all the attention at the front there. Now Mitsubishi badging is located in the middle and you've also got color match front parking sensors along the car in the Exceed model. As it does come with a, front, a 360 camera, you've also got your front camera mounted just underneath the front bar there, just to provide that extra visibility around the front when you are forward and reverse parking. Now you've got beautiful chrome finish in the front grille that does tie in very nicely to the headlight design. Now it is quite an exquisite design. You've got a few little different lamps there and all these curves and arches which break it up a little bit but also give it a very nice aggressive look. Daytime running lights do run through the bottom of the headlight and you've also got projector globes fitted as well as indicators uh, fitted in the front bar here and a fog lamp fitted as well. Now it does have a split grille which will allow for that extra airflow through to the motor to keep it really nice and cool. As we come across the driver's side of the car, pay attention to all the nice curves and arches and accents in the car. It is designed all intentionally to provide that extra fuel economy and um, aerodynamic design for the car itself. Now the first alloy wheel presents really well. We do have a stunning multi-spoke design with that chrome aluminium and black uh, piano black finish on the inner part of the rim. It does break up quite nicely and neatly but still presents really well and very striking design as well. Now you've got plenty of tread remaining on those Toyo tires as they are pretty much brand new tires that do come with this car when they were built. All along the side, chrome finish at the bottom there and chrome finishing on the top here which does give, uh, sorry, incorporate all the chrome accents around the car and gives it that exceed exquisite design. Now the color, sorry, the side mirrors and the door handles are color match which do blend in very neatly with the car. Indicator lamp is fitted into that side mirror there to clear up that quarter panel and elevate the lamp for extra visibility for the other drivers. Now the car is a keyless entry car so locking it will actually fold in your side mirrors which will notify you that the car is actually locked but also it's going to prevent anyone from actually side swiping your car opening it up. Taking a look inside the car itself, as I mentioned being the Exceed model, it does come with leather seats which are a very comfortable design. As you can see you've got a few different quadrants here to allow for that easy flexing and extra cushioning in the right places and it does uh, hug you quite neat uh, comfortably as well. Car comes with electric seat controls which are fully adjustable in every angle. Carpets present really well, there is just a little bit of dust from my getting in, us getting in and moving the cars around. Now. There are plenty of features in this car and it is very nice interior design but we will touch on this as we go through the interior but looking at the door card presents really well there's no damage where people can get quite lazy and kick the door open now the door itself goes all the way to the bottom it does keep the inner door really nice and clean uh, and just adds to the design of the car now we'll note that the car doesn't actually come with tint what we have here is a privacy glass which is just going to pro uh, provide a bit of privacy and stop people from looking into the back of the car if you do store a bit of stuff in the back but it doesn't actually provide any UV protection or heat reductions. Please talk to us about our tint options um, as you are going to be using this for a family car. So you want to make sure everyone's well protected. Now that second alloy again, pretty much unmarked, no damage whatsoever as this is pretty much a brand new car and you've got plenty of tread on the tires. As we come across to the tailgate, one thing that is iconic in the Eclipse Cross design is this split rear tailgate. So you've got glass at the top here and glass at the bottom. It does provide plenty of visibility when you are reversing and backing up for the driver in the car as well as all the other passengers. It is the way the car is designed and it is intentional. And you've also got the rear uh, mounted brake light that does cut across the back there. Very nice design um, and it does climb up the actual tailgate itself. So I quite like it. It is quite a unique look um, to the new style of small SUVs coming into the Mitsubishi range. Um, you've also got indicator lamp and reflectors fitted at the back. Now you've got um, chrome accents and details on the back just to show that exactly what you are driving. And lifting up the tailgate, you've got plenty of space in the back of the car being a small SUV. Your Space Saver spare wheel is mounted at the bottom here and pretty much every car in its class range do come with Space Saver spare wheels. It does keep it really nice and neat in the design itself and uh, very well fitted. Sorry, I'm just gonna close this up nicely. Now the Exceed model comes with a cargo blind 
has a free option, which is going to, again, keep things nice and private in the back of the car. And you can take this off if you did want to create that extra space in the tailgate. Closing this up, car comes fitted with the rear reverse camera and the color match parking sensors all along the bottom end of the car there. Coming across to the passenger side, fuel filler cap is on the passenger side of the car, which is a safe side. So you do have to pull over in case of an emergency, you know you're going to be nice and safe from any oncoming traffic. That third alloy wheel, pretty much unmarked and pretty much in A1 condition as well. Um, tire tread is still um, in very good nick. Now, as we keep coming across the car, being an Exceed model, you do want to make sure you protect it and preserve it. So please talk to us about our glass coat option, which we can tie in with a nice package with the tint and also the interior protection, which I will touch on in a bit, but it is going to give you a lifetime warranty. Being an Exceed model, a top of the line, you do want to make sure it's preserved and kept looking the way it is right now for the entirety of its life. Now that fourth and final alloy again, pretty much un completely unmarked. So you've got four unmarked rims, plenty of tread remaining on the tires and a stunning design all the way around this model. What we're gonna do now is actually pop the hood and take a look inside the car. All right, take a look inside the engine bay of the Eclipse Cross. What we have here is Mitsubishi's four cylinder, 1.5 liter turbo petrol motor. Now that turbo does make the ride really uh, quite responsive and very smooth as well. And it does come fitted with an eight speed automatic gearbox, which is gonna add to the smooth transitions between gears, allowing for plenty of gear ratios. Now. As you can see across the back of the engine bay, it does come fitted with a strut brace, which is going to make the ride quite stable and stiff, but also allow for that good handling around the corners. The car itself has a five-star ANCAP rating with seven airbags, so lots and lots of safety for the passengers in the car. The motor itself produces 110 kilowatts with 250 newton meters of torque, so again, that turbo is doing all the work for the car. Um, it is a petrol motor with a 63 liter capacity fuel tank and it does run on your regular 91 fuel. Now this thing has an astonishing fuel consumption of about 7.3 liters per 100 kilometers and an average fuel distance of about 863 kilometers off a full tank depending on how you drive and whether you are driving around with a full load of people. Right, taking a look inside the Eclipse Cross Exceed now, um, as I mentioned it is a very modern design on the inside of the car. Now this center console has been integrated from the Lexus designs in most of their lines so if you don't believe me please make sure you go look at a Lexus and tell us which one you think is actually nicer in my opinion. I quite like the Eclipse Cross design because the piano black gloss actually just ties in very nicely with the whole car. Now on the driver's side door do get a very comfortable leather stitched armrest with a door grip right here and you do get a little button above that to actually fold in your side mirrors and all your side mirror controls in a nice neat little pad. It's very easy to access. Above that are your power windows. Now they are fully automatic windows all for all four windows as well. You've got a window lock control above that and your central locking button next to that. On the right side of the dash you've got a few little um, I guess safety features in the design of the car. So starting off on the right hand side, you've got your forward collision mitigation, uh, which is a safety feature and it is a non-invasive technology. So please ask us about what this is. It is gonna protect you and keep you safe in case of an emergency. Just, uh, sorry, in case of an accident. Now just next to that is your lane departure warning, which is gonna notify you if the car is veering off the lane. And next to that is your stability control button, which you're probably gonna leave on in a car like this anyway. And uh, next to that is uh, controls for your heads up display, which is just above there. Now at the moment, I can see the speed limit in, in the middle, which is zero kilometers as we aren't moving. Um, on the right side is a little brightness illumination, so you can dim it or brighten it depending on what your preference is. And on the left hand side is a little uh, control to actually adjust the height of the display in the middle there, um, just so you get that right height when you are driving. Below that is a parking sensor sonar button, so you can turn them off if they do get a bit annoying. On the right hand stock are your left and right indicators, fog lamp controls and your headlight controls. Now you can leave them, leave them in order as they are dusk sensing headlights. So leave them in order and the car is going to decide when it needs to use it. In addition to that, the car also comes with um, automatic, uh, sorry, automatic high beam controls as well which are going to dim the lights when there is light coming towards you. On the left hand stock are your wipers and washers. Again, they are automatic rain sensing, so you can just leave it in order and the car is going to decide when it needs to use it. And these are the controls both for your front and rear. Got paddle shifts on the steering column. Now the benefit of that is that it that won't actually change depending on how you turn your steering wheel. Some people can get confused when they actually turn the steering wheel, but your paddles will stay on the same side. So you've got plus on the right side and uh, negative on the left hand side. Again, we can go into more detail as to the, how you operate this when you do come in. Very comfortable leather stitch um, steering wheel. Again, with the stunning piano black gloss finish through the outer side of the inner part of the steering wheel. And you've got all your controls on the steering wheel which are necessary for the car. So on the right hand side are your cruise control settings on and off and your adaptive cruise control um, 
distance limiter. On the left hand side is your media controls mode which is going to flick through the different options for your head unit and your volume controls up and down and your call reject voice control. Now this little button next to you here is for your 360 camera so pressing that will actually bring up your camera on the left hand side is a 360 and on the right hand side is a forward facing camera. And pressing that again is going to flick it over to that right side camera uh, for clearance when you are parking near a curb. On the right side of the steering wheel is your stop start button and coming over to the center console very nice display for the touch for the touchscreen head unit very responsive and comfortable design to actually access um, everything is laid out quite neatly so you've got digital radio AM FM radio phone connectivity Bluetooth connectivity and USB and iPod as well now the car does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which are your app connectivity for your mobile phone so depending on what you have we'll be happy to set that up for you when you do come in um, so that will come with your maps integrated into that system Below that two air vents has it simple very easy to access all your notification um, little notifiers for your seat belts and below that being the exceed model you got dual climate control um, for the driver and passenger so each can have their own temperature as they please uh, and you can turn that off with this little button here and your fan speed just next to that. Below that is the eco mode which will switch the car into a more economic driving style. It will lower the power output of the motor and make it really nice and smooth and comfortable to drive but if you do have a full load of people I do recommend you probably just keep that off and drive the car as it is. Two USB inputs for the connectivity on your head unit, a 12 volt socket and a bit of storage underneath there with the rubber lining which is going to stop things from sliding around. Now being the Exceed model it comes with heated seats so you've got a high heat and a low heat for both driver and passenger. The gear shifter is a very nice design, quite comfortable to actually rest your hand on it. If you put it into reverse, it brings up that reverse camera on the right and the 360 on the left hand side. If I bring it down into drive and actually flick it to the left side, that's where you'll get your sports shift system. So you can switch through it manually yourself using the shifter or you can use the paddles itself. Otherwise, you can flick it back into drive and the car is going to do everything for you. Behind that is probably, in my opinion, the nicest feature in the Eclipse Cross, which is this nice trackpad, which is actually for the head unit up there. So I find it a lot easier to actually control this and drive than it is to reach up here and play around with your fingers at the top there. So very easy and comfortable design. Will take a little bit of time to get used to, but you just tap the pad when you do want to select what you want to actually access. So very easy, user-friendly design. The car comes with an electric park brake which very easy up and down to activate or deactivate and an auto hold button which is going to hold the car in there when you are stopped at the lights. Got two generous cup holders with sp which are spring loaded and a very nice le leather stitch center console armrest and if I let raise that up, do have a bit of storage at the top there and plenty of storage underneath for any additional things that you might be keeping in the car. We'll get the camera person to pan up. Being the Exceed model it does come with a panoramic sunroof. So you've got the sunroof in the front and the moonroof in the back. Um, now the back roof doesn't actually open but the front will see if I put, click this button here you can see that open up over the top there. Now it is designed so that the back will still get light if needed and close it up just because I'm seeing a few drizzles come into the car and it's going to close everything for us and it's all fully automatic so it's just at the touch of one button you don't actually need to sit there holding it now panning around the interior you get full leather seats in the front and the back you've got car seat mounting points for the rear seats as well um, and the car just presents really well so what we're actually going to do now is jump outside and wrap up this video Thank you so much for watching the walk around video on this 2020 MY20 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross Exceed. Now, as you can see, being the Exceed model, it does come with a stunning amount of features and they are nice features. They're not just unnecessary features put into the car for the sake of it and they all are practical and well designed and integrated into the whole look of the car. Now, if you did have any additional questions for the Eclipse Cross, wanted to test drive it or actually wanted to purchase it before you came in, you can do that. Now, the number to dial is 9907055. Just before I go though, this car does qualify, qualify sorry, for our Platinum One program. What that is going to give you is five years extended protection on pretty much like for like new car warranty on this car up to 200,000 kilometers. Now in addition to that, you do also get the added benefit of 10 years Platinum roadside assistance. So it is a car that you're probably going to keep for a long time. Do highly recommend you speak to us about this because there is a lot of value in this and it is going to keep you protected and preserved over the ownership of the car. Now in addition to that, 
please talk to us about our glass coat and tint option which is going to give you a lifetime warranty on this beautiful white paintwork but also protect everyone inside the car with all the benefits of tint so please talk to us about this now these are at an additional cost however if you are using our in-house finance i would love to introduce you to our business managers julie and mario who show just how minimal these will really affect your repayments lastly but most importantly please check out our google reviews with over 1100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars kind of gives you the assurance that you're dealing with the right people, the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Nathan, and thank you so much for watching.